Hi everybody. This week we're thinking about ways of supporting our two to three year olds with their language development. So your wee ones at this stage are going to be very busy exploring their environments and you may have noticed a real spurt in their language development which is what we would be expecting. So we would be expecting to see our wee ones now understand instructions with more key words. So you might ask them to go and get two or three things. So go get your bag, your coat and your shoes. And your wee one is able to do that. And we also might be seeing more and more vocabulary. So there's a real increase in the words that they're using. And they're starting to join words together. So more juice or by daddy. What's really important at this stage is again to join in with your child's play. So try and allocate special time. And we would say, even if it's three or four times a week for about five minutes, just join in with what your child's doing and follow their lead in their play. So we talked about that last week. So you're going to just join in with them, take a wee step back initially, watch what they're doing, and then join in and comment on what it is that they're playing with. And this is gonna support their early joint attention skills, which means that if you're looking at the same activity, your child is gonna be attending to that activity and you're gonna be there attending to the same activity and sharing an activity. So if it's making a wee cup of tea together, um, and we need joint attention skills because when you think about later conversational skills, when we're talking to other adults, we have to attend to a joint topic. So if you're talking about something, you're expecting the listener to attend to that same topic and then respond appropriately. So this is a really good way of increasing your child's joint attention skills. And the language that you're going to be modeling is going to match your child's interests. So they're going to be more likely to pick up words in this way. We talk a lot about commenting and we think about the five finger rule. So this means that we want to comment four times and think about questions maybe once. So one question to four comments because it's really easy to ask lots and lots of questions to our children and sometimes children feel like they're being tested. So we want you to teach your children, not test them at this stage. So teach them words through commenting. So an example of this is if your wee one is pretending to have a teddy bear's picnic, you might pretend to eat a sandwich or make tea. So you could say, I'm eating a sandwich. It's delicious. Let's pour tea. Let's pour it into the cup. Oh, it's Bernie. Is yours Bernie? So you see that there's lots of comments there to one question. So you're modeling the language through the play. And it's also important not to gender stereotype in play. So I've obviously worked with a lot of wee boys on my caseload in speech and language therapy. And something that always stands out to me is there was a mummy who said, you know, his daddy, this wee boy's daddy, didn't want him playing with dolls or pretending with babies or making cups of tea because stereotypically they're like a woman's job. But the mummy had said, you get so much more language in with these types of toys because typically if boys play with cars, there's only so much you can say about a car. Whereas if you pretend playing with picnic sets or dollies or babies and putting them in the bath or putting them to bed, there's so much more you can say about those activities. So it's just something to think about. Again, at this stage, your wee ones will be likely making speech errors. So their pronunciation just isn't quite where it is as an adult and that's absolutely fine. So what we would say is just model the correct pronunciation of the word. So if your child is saying, oh, dod for dog, instead of saying, no, it's a dog, try not to draw attention to it. So you're not stopping and disrupting the flow of conversation by correcting 
we want to just model quite naturally. So yes, it's a dog. So modeling the correct pronunciation is really important to help our wee ones to use their speech sounds correctly and expand as well. So if your wee one is using words now, we're gonna be thinking about how we can build on the words that they're using to kind of show them how we put words together. So if your child is saying dog, you could say dog is barking, dog says woof woof. So you're elaborating on what they're saying and try and think of action words, so verbs, because children often learn to use noun words or labels because they're a concrete thing. So a cup is always a cup, but what can we do with a cup? We can pour into it or we can drink out of it. What can a dog do? So the dog is running. So it's really important to model those action words because they're harder for children to learn because they're not concrete. And the last point just for this stage is to try and pitch your own language at where your child is at. So simplify what it is that you're saying when you're playing with your child. So try not to use too much language because your child will feel a bit bombarded. So keeping your language simple is a great way, again, of modeling language. So using two or three or four word phrases to help your child understand what it is that you're talking about. And then that will help them to learn to use those words too. So thank you for listening today. I hope you're all keeping well. And let me know if there's anything that you want clarity on or if you have any questions.